Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rides. I'm back here at Reese Volkswagen in Tampa, Florida, and we have one of the top compact crossovers right now in the industry. This is a 2019 Volkswagen Tiguan. This one is an SEL trim R-Line. Let's talk a little bit about Volkswagen history. Volkswagen's been around since 1937, if you could believe that, the people's car. Over the years, it, they've been so synonymous with the Beetle. But of course, in recent years, they've had to expand, especially in that booming SUV, CUV segment of the market. With the Tiguan, things have changed. And I think that you're gonna find that they've changed in a good way. The Tiguan has actually grown a little bit since its last major refresh, which that redesign took place just last year with 2018. The 2019 continues that design. And what's interesting is that the Tiguan is wider, it's longer, and it offers three row capability. So let's go ahead and dive into this 2019 Volkswagen Tiguan SEL R-Line. Right off the bat, with this R-Line spec, I love what's going on. Very nice headlight housing, blacked out with some nice shiny chrome inside. Really think that it, it fits the, the CUV perfectly. Now, as we drop down, you do get that traditional gloss black. Some people love it, some people hate it. I think with the silver, it's really working perfect. And I love the additional lighting that's down here. Now, the Zonk is, this is all non-functional. It's not even an air curtain. So I wish they would have at least had an air curtain. Um, so that's why I'm gonna Zonk it. But from a look standpoint, it looks spot on, especially with these body lines going on into this lower section. Now there's a little bit of an extension, almost like a side kind of lip spoiler sticking out just a little bit. And then as we come across the front, one of my favorite things about Volkswagens, I love the horizontal lines. The horizontal lines make their vehicles appear even wider than what they are, especially when you look at the Arteon, which I'll leave that video at the end if you haven't seen our 2019 Volkswagen Arteon review. But there's that Volkswagen logo. Remember, the logo is going to be updated for 2020. I do think it was very smart to go chrome, gloss black, chrome. Really gives us some nice definition. There's our R-Line logo. Remember, R was a, is originally associated with their um, you know, rally racing and sports car racing. Now they're taking their R-Line to give some styling cues to really spruce things up. But gloss black across the lower section. I like the horizontal grills as well but very, very clean German look for sure. You know that this is a German CUV. Now, when we get up onto the hood, very bold character lines. I really like the way that there's this character line that starts in the front and actually V's off both sections. And then there's another one that kind of rises up and then fades away as you get towards that windshield. As we come around the bend, here is something that's really setting this uh, Tiguan off. I love these wheels, gloss black, Great looking setup, especially with the silver. It's a 19 inch wheel, 255 on the width, 45 series on the sidewall. I'm not 100% sold on the flat black here. I wish they would have kept this silver, so I am gonna zonk this. On some CUVs, I like it. On this one, it's not working for me because of the gloss black that's up front, and then you got just this one section on all four corners is flat back black. Kinda doesn't make sense, but I do like the distinctive body line that they stamp into the fender. Now, as we go down the fender, there's that second R-Line. Obviously, there's going to be one on each side. It's a total of three R-Line logos so far. Very tasteful. Not meant to look like a vent, so I definitely give a thumbs up for that. And I like the gloss black that's in there and the way that it kind of extends right into the body line of the door. Now, with this R-Line, you're going to get blacked out mirrors, match the blacked out wheels and that grill section. We go into the roof, flat black roof rails, gloss black on the doors, and I like the way that they stayed with pot, uh, painted door handles. But this line down here is perfect. This gloss black trim, I, I really think like it ties it in, like sort of putting a big old bow on a present. I really think that that ties it in and very aggressive on the lower sill section, the way those body lines come out. As we work our way towards our rear, let me just show you, six feet tall, I could get access to those roof rails very easily, nice size rear quarter window. I think it's smart to have a large rear quarter window, especially this being a third row capable CUV. And then look how sharp the body line is coming to the rear. 
into the rear taillight housing. As we wrap it out back, very, very clean, just like a lot of other Volkswagens. You have a very simple low roof spoiler. We drop down, there's our Volkswagen logo, Tiguan SEL. Surprisingly, there's no R-line back here. So I would say that because this is an R-line, there should be an R-line logo over there. So I am gonna zonk that for not having that R-line logo, but you have the chrome treatment across the top of the bumper. This will help it from getting scratched. And then you can see how they brought the gloss black from the lower portions of the, of the doors to the rear bumper area and more gloss black. Let's do our, this is a new thing. Let's do our exhaust test. Are they real? That one isn't. That one isn't. So that is a major zonk. That's a new thing we're gonna start doing on Rady's Rides. Is the exhaust real? That's the tester. Not real. Exhaust is underneath. You got a very interesting looking diffuser, but I don't know why we're going in this direction of fake exhaust. Let's go ahead though, check out underneath the hood and see what's powering this Tiguan. All right guys, we got the hood popped on the 2019 Tiguan. Underneath the hood should be something very familiar because they use this engine across many of their different vehicles. That's that inline four, two liter engine, turbocharged, 184 horsepower, 221 pound feet of torque. It's all going through an eight speed automatic transmission. If you wanna know how much this weighs, weighs in around 3,800 pounds, zero to 60 in a sluggish 8.2 seconds quarter mile and 16.5 and a top speed at 120 miles an hour. MPGs, 22 in the city, 27 on the highway. Underneath the hood, like I said, typical Volkswagen affair. I do like from an enthusiast standpoint, the way you could clearly see where the turbocharger is, but I think we'd both agree that this Tiguan needs a little bit more horsepower. Let's get that same horsepower level that they get out of the GTI, 228 horsepower, especially in an R-line, SEL trim, I think that would be the way to go. But why don't we go ahead, fire this up and see what those fake exhausts sound like. All right guys, we're inside the 2019 Tiguan SEL R-Line Black Edition. What's the cost of this? I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, this thing looks pretty cool. The silver, the black, I'm digging it. How much? MSRP, the way that this one sits, $35,000. Let's see what you get to the door panels. Now, I like what's going on with the door panels. Traditionally on Volkswagens, you would just see it all dark material, but there is that nice light gray back portion of the door, leather uh, style material. You have the leather, black leather on the armrest. The armrest is on the harder side, but I find that with a lot of German cars. Uh, so they must have some special elbows over in Germany that we just don't have here in the United States. A little bit of silver trim around the door handle pull and the actual handle to open up the door, but very simplistic and just functional. That's what it's all about with the door panel uh, on this Tiguan. Now, as we come in, you have soft material on the dash, little cubby area to place. Uh, maybe you could put a couple Twinkies, I think you could hit fit horizontal in there, kind of heat them up in the sun, but I like the saw material. I like the trim around the AC vents. It's not a gloss black. Same thing over here. I'm gonna have Tom work a little extra hard. You have this wood grain trim going on, which I think is a nice touch. Eight inch infotainment system with navigation. I'm gonna go into the menu. Very nice uh, feature with the menu. You could go into vehicle, get all the uh, data for fuel range and all that good stuff. We'll go back to car. You could get all of that uh, information as well from uh, your car shown on the screen. Very, very nice touches like that. And uh, to be honest with you, it's pretty quick reacting. There's more of that information about saving fuel and all that. We'll go back to menu. As we drop down, I'm liking the, the gray that's going on here. The smoke gray finish is much nicer than gloss black and it hides the fingerprints. Dual climate. My only problem is, is that like the blower, you see the wiggle? Look at all the wiggle going on there. There's a little fit and finish problem that I want to see them kind of fix. I've noticed that on a few Volkswagens that we've done. But as we drop down, you have a nice cubby here. I wish there was a lid. You know me and the lids. Uh, so I am going to zonk no lid. But you do get a 12 volt, two USBs, and an aux jack. All very nicely placed. There's our silver start stop button because this is keyless entry. And since we're talking about keyless, here is your key fob. Nice, simple, dark black key fob. I wish that there was some brushed aluminum on this, especially because it is R-Line. 
um, black edition SEL trim. So I would like to see a little bit more pizzazz on the key fob. Around the shifter, it's flat black, so that's nice. This is gonna be controlling that eight-speed automatic transmission. You have electric e-brake. Here's the button for the auto start-stop function. And there's four fake buttons, which I don't know why those are there. I wish they would do something different with that design. Two cup holders, another little cubby. Uh, you can put some breath mints after you're done eating your Twinkies. And then armrest. It's actually softly padded, which is wonderful. You lift it up, and it's just a storage area. There's no actual connectivity going on in there. Close it up, seats. I like the way they look. Light gray, I like the perforated center. They are heated, but they're not ventilated, but they're very supportive, and that's what I really like. I feel like when it comes to the pressure points on your body, it's really hitting it just right to where you're not gonna be in a lot of pain after a long drive. And then of course, you have the full panoramic sunroof, which is a very nice touch. The only thing is, is with the darker headliner, it makes it a little bit more dark overall in here, but this is the R-Line Black Edition, so I guess that kind of makes sense. But why don't you come over to the business end? There's some fun stuff going on behind the wheel. Come on over. All right, guys, here we are, business end. Now, one zonk I'm gonna give is there's no memory seat setting, so if you have to share it, you're gonna have to figure out how to tweak it. You do have that nice R-Line brushed aluminum trim. Looks really, really nice, nice touch. You have the aluminum pedals down there, all brushed aluminum, gives it a nice, uh, extra touch, full weather floor mats, which is something that's really good when you're dragging your feet out, especially if it's raining or snowing or muddy, it's gonna help protect the interior in your Tiguan. Electric seats, which is really nice, even has the lower lumbar, which that always helps me, especially on a longer drive. And then the steering wheel, I like it. It, it could be a little thicker, but I like the design. I like the light gray crisscross stitching. You got the R-Line logo, and then probably my favorite part of being behind the wheel is definitely that virtual cockpit. Very, very nice look. The graphics are so clear and crisp. Yes, I know the door is open, but you can actually toggle through all sorts of information here, which is really nice. You have your digital speedometer. Look at this, you go oil temperature, trip, odometer, your fuel range, all that good stuff, which is really, really nice to have to get that kind of readout. Look at that, there's our oil temperature. Very clean. Nothing fancy with the mirror. It could have, I would like to see an auto uh, dimming mirror, uh, especially at the price point of $35,000, but I feel great in here. Six feet tall, lots of room. Let's go ahead and see how your mid-row passengers are gonna love, be loving the Tiguan. All right, guys, so with the Tiguan being longer, being wider, not only are you gonna have more space up front, but look at this. Six foot Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. Tons of room back here. More of that nice leather on the seats. I like the way the leather goes all the way around the front seats with your uh, pocket for an iPad or whatever you gotta put in here. The seats are reclining, which is really, really nice feature, especially with all this room you have, and they also slide as well. So there we are sliding. Bring down the armrest, that's a zonk. Turn them horizontal. I don't know why they put it where you wanna put your elbow, but we close that up. And then a nice little command center here. You have two rear AC vents, a 12 volt and a USB. I don't know what you would put in this cubby. Maybe a pack of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. We are sponsored by Wrigley's for this Tiguan. No, we're not really not. We're not getting any money from them, but that's exactly what you could probably put. Maybe Big Red. If you like Big Red, put a couple packs of Big Red, especially for the long trip. I do like the way the panoramic sunroof goes all the way past my head, which is very nice. Let's go ahead though, let's squeeze into that back row and see how much room a grown adult has in that third row. All right guys, third row time. Let's see how hard it is. All you gotta do is you just pull up on this lever, seat comes down, now you gotta use a little oomph. You push it forward. This is how much room we're dealing with. I do like the way it's plastic here and plastic a little bit on the inside so it doesn't wear out the carpet, but I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze on in. As you can see, on my way in, six foot Joe Rady struck his back on the top portion here of the door opening. This really is not, I mean, look at how I'm sitting. I feel like I'm in a little cave in the ground somewhere. My knees are way too high and headroom is at a minimum, is really at a minimum. You do have cup holders, no connectivity and no rear AC. So I'm gonna say on a short drive, I'm okay with it or put your young kids or, young, or, or small neighbors in the back because this really is very, very tight. But let's go ahead, check out the cargo area and see how much room you have. All right, guys, time to check out the cargo area on the Tiguan. It is 
electric assist. So we're gonna hit that, power it up pretty quick on the opening. Now, the nice thing is, is that real estate wise, you do have enough space for a stroller if you have a young child or you have plenty of room for groceries. And what's also nice is that you have storage on both sides that you could put at least one bag with a few items. Now to get this third row to go down, it's very simple. I like this very nice little uh, lever here. You're just going to go boom. That goes down like that. And then you're going to go boom like that. And now you have a nice flat space. If we need to get that other row down, what we're going to do is we're just going to pull there. Obviously the front seat kind of hindered the progress of that one, but let's see if I could sh give you a better idea of how flat this is. That's as flat as it's going to go. So it, it, it's one of those things where it's not going to be totally flat, but it does open up the amount of room in here for you to really allow you to use this, especially for those larger items. But I really think if you don't need the third row up, keep it down and that's going to maximize your space. But let's go ahead and get to the best part. Let's take this Tiguan for a spin. All right, guys, we're leaving Reeves Volkswagen. We're in the 2019 Tiguan, that SEL trim, R-Line Black Edition. I really, really like the look. Just walking up to it, it has such a presence that's different than not only any other Tiguan, but also really any other uh, compact CUV. Gauges, so clear, so crisp so easy to understand uh, i really like that overall look we're gonna go ahead and get on the highway here and see how she does into this right hand bend feels good on throttle i think probably my biggest zonk you know drivability wise i wish that this just had the gti motor with 228 horsepower. I think that that would fit this car to a T. So it is a little sluggish on power, but it, it's very, very smooth. Very smooth, great visibility out the front windshield. The dash is a little bit higher than I would like, um, but still great visibility out the big back window. The back window is nice and large. Side mirrors, what I like about them is that they're stylish, but they're also very functional. So they, they look good and they work good at the same time seat is supportive without being hard as uh sitting on a plank of wood but really my favorite part is is that dash i i think volkswagen you know they took a little bit of a page from uh from their sister company audi and really did a great job now it would be nice to have the navigation show up in there like on the on the audi but remember uh, with the Tiguan, you're not paying Audi prices. Uh, this one MSRP at 35 grand, I think you're getting a lot for the money for sure. But even over uh, the expansion joints and whatnot, very, very smooth. Right, guys, let me go ahead. I'm gonna do a slow roll here. We're doing about 17 miles an hour on throttle. You gotta wait for that transmission to drop down, but once she drops down into gear, then you're off and running. It gives you a little bit of a, of a deeper engine note, which I'm sure is being piped into the cabin. Uh, nothing that sounds like a race car, obviously. And talking about the cabin, it is very quiet inside, which is great. Steering feel, steering feel back actually feels really on point uh, for a CUV. The nice thing is, is I'm glad that there's no actual buttons to shift. Uh, if you wanna do manual shifting, you can do it with the actual shifter. So going into this turn, feels good on throttle. I just, I, it needs a little bit more power. That's really uh, the, the big zonk drivability wise. I would like that power. But other than that, very smooth, very quiet. And if you need a CUV that has some kind of third row, this, uh, this will at least accommodate you. Would I want to sit back there? No but uh, at least you have the option. It's nice to have options. Don't understand this cubby right here. Uh, I, I keep looking at it like it's gonna do something, but it, I, don't, I don't see why that, I guess for sunglasses, but the problem is anything you put here is gonna be cooked by the sun. So I guess if you wanna have a hot dog or something of some type, you could put it here and it'll be fully heated up and ready to rock and roll uh, when you get to your destination, but I just don't know what else you would put there. I guess uh, tissues? I don't know. 
but just driving along here on this road very very uh you know very competent ride here that's for sure all right guys we're going down this little back road area here just to really show the ride quality uh over up some of this going over some of this ripped up pavement and whatnot um, i think that you'll be very impressed with how the tiguan drives uh, this is my second time driving a tiguan and uh compared to a lot of the other brands that we've driven when it comes to cuvs uh, i am starting to really take a liking to these especially this particular one being at the certain trim level that it is let's go ahead though and see how she handles a little bit here obviously this isn't a race cuv but always important to see how feedback is going to be because that really is going to tell you what the driving experience is all like brake pedal feels good I, to, to be honest with you surprising how the actual feedback is to the steering wheel i didn't think it was going to be that on point but it's actually pretty good feedback wise not very very numb driving along here over some bumps soaks them right up the suspension is really really good on this uh tig one watch this one this is a big one soaks it right up you just keep going i i really like that and if you're noticing there's no creaks or rattles or anything like that going on which is very nice to not hear but very very smooth I do like the way everything is positioned, especially if you notice, or if you noticed earlier, the infotainment system is a little far uh, farther back than the actual AC controls. And I think that's perfect, especially because it's that touchscreen setup and whatnot to where you could easily get to uh, everything involving the car and whatnot. So that, that's a nice touch to have it that close. And the AC controls are perfectly placed as well. So hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the Tiguan is all about, especially this particular one, the way that it's trimmed. But we're going to go ahead and get back to Reeves Volkswagen to wrap this one up. So I will see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a wonderful time here with this 2019 Tiguan. Definitely going to thank Zadie and the rest of the crew here at Reeves Volkswagen. Yes, what's up? Joe Rady fan right there. They love Rady's rides here in Tampa. But... The big question, is this the CUV to go up against and to buy when you're looking at a CRV, when you're looking at the Subaru products? Toyota, obviously with their RAV4, that's something that really you need to get down to Rees Volkswagen, get behind the wheel of Tiguan and see how much you like it. But anyways, if these are the types of things that you like to see on Ready's Rise, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Ready's Rise family. If you want to help us make content, just keep making this content day in and day out just for you on Ready's Rise, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Ready's Rise merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee, Tom Motion, working that camera, getting all the German, at, the German angles he just ate some German pastries before we uh, film. So thank you, Tom, for fueling up. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.